What's up, guys? Uh, my friend Kid here back again, uh, coming to you uh, for my YouTube pack members and my Valera pack members as well. Um, back again with another Geek Thought video for you guys. <laughs> um, and today, guys, the official synopsis of uh, The Eternals has dropped. And uh, this is very interesting because for a lot of people, it's interesting, especially because a lot of, a lot of people that don't know The Eternals. They never read The Eternals. They, you know, most people probably know, oh, they're a Jack Kirby creation. So they get the respect right there. King created it? Okay. Respect. But um, a lot of people don't know them. And I'm really intrigued to see what they do with these characters as well as um, what, how people, modern audience, just movie girls who love the MCU, how, the, how that's going to play out and how people are going to look at it after this movie comes out. Like, will we start seeing, like, when I go to conventions, will I see cosplayers dressed as Athena or Icarus and Gilgamesh and people like that? You know, or, or will they just be Fallout? Like, eh, you know. Because that's what people thought Guardians were going to be. Guardians Gla Guardians of the Galaxy. That was going to be the first chink in the Marvel MCU armor. That, that was going to be the first bomb. But it wasn't. People fell in love with those characters. Especially, especially, especially Rocket and, Rocket and Groot. So, um... Wanted to bring this to attention. I wanted uh, to give you the synopsis, and of course, basically what I'm asking for you guys is to give your thoughts in the section down below, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit more into what this is all about. Okay, so here is the um, official. I'll also put it up so you can see it as well, so you can kind of read along. But the official uh, synopsis: Marvel Studios, the internals features an exciting new team of super superheroes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Ancient aliens. That, I'm going to get into that one right there. Ancient aliens who have been living on Earth in secret for a thousand years. Following the events of Endgame, there you go. Right there, we already got our premise. Like, okay, where does this take place? After Endgames, the events of it. An unexpected tragedy forces them out of the shadows to reunite against mankind's most ancient enemy. Talk about them too. The outstanding assembled cast includes Richard Madden as the all powerful Icarus, uh, Gemma Chan as the human, kind, loving Cersei, uh, Kumal Naji, Na, Naji Nani, I hope I'm saying his name, I, I don't want to butcher, as the cosmic powered uh, Kingo. Lauren uh, Ritloff as the super fast uh, Makari, Brian uh, Terry Henry as the intelligent inventor Phasar, Phaso, uh, Selma Hayek as the wise and spiritual leader Ajak. In the comics, Ajak is a male, so that's really interesting. Uh, Lee McHugh as the eternally young soul, old soul sprite. Don Lee as the powerful Gilgamesh, John uh, Kiragan as the aloft longing Droog, and Angelina Jolie as the fierce warrior Thea. Thena, I like Thena. That was she's one of my favorite um, of the Eternals, and Kit Harrigan was casted as Dane Whitman, a.k.a. The Black Knight. Uh, directed by Chloe Zhao, who helmed the critically acclaimed Sundance film The Writer, and produced and produced by Kevin Feige, The Eternal opens in U.S. theaters November 6, 2020. Okay. We got a little glimpse in there. Okay. So, basically what it's implying is that the Eternals have been on Earth for a thousand years, but they've been in secret. This reminds me a little bit of the Inhumans. Yeah. 
this rhymes with eating humans. Now, the the Eternals are not they're not necessarily aliens, but they are they are somewhat human, but they were experimented on by the Celestials. The Celestials came to Earth a thousand years when you know man was still like pre abesit man, like they still weren't really, and they experimented on them. Um, and they, they brought forth the Eternals. Uh, the Eternals are kind of like, for all those who don't know, the Eternals are similar to, they're the Marvel equivalent to the New Gods. That's basically what they are. Kirby came back to Marvel to work on them. And that's when he created them. So when he, when he created the New Gods, he came back to Marvel and created the Eternals. Now, in terms of the deviants, the deviants that they're talking about, they are, they were the main enemy of the Eternals. They were these demon-like characters um, that also were kind of experimented on, but not so much. And they got like, they were kind of like the leftovers of what the Celestials did with the Eternals. And they hated the Eternals for that. Um, if I can get a picture up of what they look like will help uh, get you a little bit more. Um, let me see if I can get a picture of what they look like. They were, they're also called the changing people. They're, they're humanoids as well, but they're a race that hated the Eternals get a picture of them mm. okay this will work mm. they kind of look like that if you could see it I'm trying to get a picture you can see that look they kind of look like that um, and then that's the first look and you can see Kirby's artwork but then later on they started to look like this so so that's kind of them um but yeah um it's pulling straight from the the comics um which marvel loves to do they the mcu kevin feige loves to pull from the source material um they have changed a little bit like i said making that the the eternals are aliens they, i guess you could say technically they are but they're from earth they were just experimented on by the, like, like when the Kree experimented on the Inhumans, they were human too. The Celestials experiment. So, it's, I hope, hopefully, we see the more of the Celestials in this movie. But being the fact that now these characters are coming out of the darkness, so it makes me wonder. Also, what I'm more intrigued about this as well is, were they watching? Maybe we we sit, we'll see the we will see the like their side of you like when when the Chitari attacked or when Thanos attacked like were there some of them like we should be out there helping them and maybe Icarus or no not Icarus um uh, Ajax was saying like no we're not gonna do that you know because like I said before Ajax is the leader and you know so Mahayak is playing the character. So, uh, <laughs> and you know, in the comics, Ajax is a male, not a female. So it's going to be really interesting to see how she's portrayed in this. They saying that she is the spiritual leader, all wise and knowing spiritual leader, um, and it does make me wonder. You know, will Dane Whitmer, who uh, Kit Harrington, will he have the ebony blade? Will we see him in full costume? You know, full armor as the Black Knight. You know, a lot of things are going to play up in that. I'm reading this uh, and seeing this uh, synopsis. I am intrigued, very intrigued, even more because when I heard they were making Internals, I was like, eh, I don't think they need to have their own movie. I, they could just show up in a movie. Like they could be a supporting. Because no matter what, I've read a lot of the Eternal books and I've just never really like. Oh, they, that's, it's okay, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, like I said, knowing that they were created by Jack Kirby, it gets them kind of more of a pat on the back, like, yeah, good on you. You know, King Kirk created you. 
all right. But from you know, I've read a lot of their stuff, and I'm just every time in comments now, especially they're always the centerpiece of somebody wrecking them, and they're used as the cannon fodder to the event. Like somebody nearly killed the Eternals. Like, and it's like, wait, what? Like, oh, oh they're that strong, you know. It's like, okay, I don't like it, but it's happened. Um, so that's it, guys. That's the official synopsis to uh, the Eternals movie. Um, does that intrigue you a lot more? Does it make you interested more, especially if you're not into the Eternals or you're not a fan? You, you've never read anything from them. Um, for me, it's it it added it up a little more because as a reader of the source material of the character. I want to know if they were going to stay kind of true to the, and they pretty much are. I, Eternal, I don't mind that at all. Like, yeah, they, they've been around for a thousand years, okay? They've been on Earth for that long. And what's more intriguing now for me is, yes, to see, okay, I want to see through their eyes, like, what did they see over the years? Like, how, they've been around for so long, they must have seen so much. They must have seen this. The birth of this, this happening, you know, and like I said, events that have happened in the MCU, they probably saw, you know, the 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 just the Shatari attacking, Loki leading the charge, you know, um, you know, Thanos coming, um, even 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 um things like Ultron destroying, you know, like what did how did what did they see? How did they feel about that? That's that's more intriguing. That's so intriguing to me. Um, and why they didn't act now? Why is it so important now that they act? And that's that's also I hope that's also played up now. Yes, it's the deviants. It's it's their main foe. But why now? Why not act when let's say the Avengers could have used y'all? You know, and I think we played that up too. It's been played up before with with um, Captain Marvel. Remember, Rhodey said it, yo. Where were you at when we needed you? When he talked to me, he was talking to Carol Danvers. Like, okay, since you you've been around, where where have you been? And she's been off world, and it's like since the 1990s she's been off world. And her reply was simple: like, in some worlds there aren't no Avengers, so I'm needed. Okay, so I hope that's kind of played up somewhat in this of why. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, you guys tell me in the comment section below what did you think? Um, I wish I really could have showed you more of the deviants. I, I I shouldn't have I wish I'd have not pulled it up on my phone, but it is what it is. You guys tell me in the comment section below what do, what do you think about the official synopsis? Um and um Peace, one love, stay tuned, keep it real as always. Deuces.